Hi everyone, uh, good evening and welcome to this um, special update for the Encounters RPG. Um, this has been prompted by uh, an announcement today, this morning actually, from Frontier Development regarding the computer game Elite Dangerous, which as you know the Elite RPG is based on, um, which has a bit of an impact on some, th on some of the things that will be in the game. So I just wanted to have a quick uh, update tonight just to um, it's a sort of separate thing to the main progress updates because it's kind of outside that kind of um, thing um, just to sort of see where it would fit in. So I think if you'll indulge me the first thing I'll do is I'll show you the, tr the trailer that was released and the exciting stuff that it actually um, will be shown us so I hope you enjoy it. So there you go. Elite Dangerous Horizons, the planetary landing expansion pack for Elite Dangerous, which brings Elite for the first time, um, Elite Dangerous anyway, for the first time onto the surface of planets in the universe. Properly rendered. <coughs> now I know that um, Frontier and First Encounters, the previous two games, computer games in the series, featured planetary landings, but it wasn't in a particularly advanced fashion really um sorry i'm just trying to sort out some other stuff that needs to get shown here as well so if you'll bear with me while i click a few buttons and try and find what i'm looking for i've been a bit late in this evening so um hence why i was a little bit late getting started this evening um So, um, uh, 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 there we go. What impact does this expansion have on elite <coughs> encounters on the RPG, as it were? Um, okay, that's really what I'm here to talk about briefly. As most of you probably know at the moment, I'm in the middle of doing the vehicle um, rules and getting them finalised for the release. Um, so. As you saw at the tail end of that trailer there, there is a ground vehicle now in Elite. And this is that to the first time that a ground vehicle has been seen in the Elite universe. Uh, I'm not counting the little yellow vans that, that go around the rings, um, that go around the inside of the docking rings in the space stations. Because um, they are essentially still space going vehicles. But this is the first time we've seen something actually driving around on the surface of a planet. And it will definitely be the first time that a player will be able to get out of their spaceship and, wander, and uh, sort of wander about on the surface, albeit inside another vehicle. And it's the vehicle that kind of gives me the, the, the pause. Um, it's not going to cause any problems in the development or the release of the uh, design rules, <coughs> sort of the vehicle rules. But it does include... It does start to set an aesthetic for what's going to be the vehicles, the vehicle types in the Elite Universe. And I need to try and consider what that means for the actual role-playing game as well. So if I just briefly grab another picture for you to have a look at, which is the one that came on... Um, this is from Frontier's own website. Um, and as a close-up look at that little vehicle that you saw pulling pod around, or scooting around at the end of that video. It's called the Scarab, um, and is a sort of lunar rover vehicle, surface roving vehicle, I think they're going to call them SRVs. Um, and 
as you can see, it's armed. Uh, this is something I hadn't considered initially. Well, I did consider arming vehicles initially, uh, but I hadn't thought that, that right out of the box, Elite would, ha uh, sorry, the Frontier would come out with an armed vehicle um, as part of their first update on planetary landings. I thought that would take a little bit of time to come around, but apparently not. Scarabs will be armed with uh, at least machine guns by the look of it, and if they are actually extendable hard points, then they could have anything on them. Mm -hmm. Which means that I may have to look at installing hard points on the vehicles as well as the spaceships. So, the questions that I have for Frontier are manifold on this. Um, my first concern, uh, not it's not a concern as such. My first question that I'd have for them is essentially what. Is, the, is this going to be the design aesthetic for vehicles in the Elite Universe, or is this one type of vehicle? Um, I've actually sent them an, an email today asking a couple of questions about some things, and I'm hoping that they're going to get back to me with some information that I can use um, to put into the RPG to try and make it at least as um, close to the computer game, again, um, as it can be. And the first of those is, is this going to be like the standard aesthetic? Is this going to be what vehicles are going to look like? Or, um, or is this one way? Is this, is this just one variant of the vehicle types we're going to have? And obviously, with Frontier being Frontier and the way that they're going about this game and so on, we're obviously going to have multiple vehicles at some point in time. This isn't going to be the only vehicle in the game. There will be many more vehicles in the game. And what I want them, what I've wanted them to, to tell me is if they can give me some general idea of what the general aesthetic of the vehicles is going to be. Because what I'm trying to do in the book, I will be prefer I will be trying to design vehicles myself to put into the game, and um, to put in as counters and as stat cards and all that sort of stuff, so that we can have a, a visual representation of them in the role playing game and its miniature rules. So if there's going to be like a standard, or if they can give me as much information as they can about these things, then we can maybe look at sort of tying it together as much as we can. And I've had a response from Edward Lewis, the community manager at Elite, who's uh, very graciously acknowledged my email and made sure that it goes to the right place and I'll get an answer for it which is awesome of him so thank you very much Ed. Um, I'm hoping that that will actually streamline the development process because it will mean that I'll have um, a kind of solid idea where the vehicle design is going um, and depending on how much information they can give me that means I can put more into the book and I'm not going to end up in a situation where if, for example, I was going to get the book out round about Christmas, which is when they're thinking about bringing out this update, then at least it'll be tied together. I'm not going to end up bringing the book out and then having an immediate thing that's going to put it out of date. Um, I don't want to hold up the release of the book any more than I have to, so if I get it finished in October or November and I want to actually get it finalised and brought out, I would like it to have at least some elements of this planetary landing vehicle thing in there already. Um, we've obviously got the We've got the hint that this vehicle will be fit, it will be carried in a Cobra uh, because it was the Cobra that's in the video. The Cobra shows the ship uh, landing, sorry, the video shows the ship landing, um, and then obviously there's a vehicle then driving around, which you would assume, putting two and two together from the video, that it's coming out the Cobra. Um, so yeah, that that gives you more look into how the vehicle how the vehicle deployment is going to work. Is it going to be you can go from your ship straight into the vehicle in your cargo bay, drop a ramp, and come out that way? Um, which is something that hasn't been seen on screen, or even in some of the ship designs. We've never seen like a, a ramp coming from the cargo hold that will be deployable and sent out. So how are they going to approach that? That's one of the other things that I need to try and discuss with Frontier. So, as I said, there's a lot of questions to ask Frontier, and I'm hoping that given that um, part of the Kickstarter pledge was that the Frontier's development team would provide support and information from the game to put into these books, that this, that this isn't asking for too much. Um, I know it's a lot of work. I know I'm probably asking a lot of them to provide like design information and all that sort of stuff. But I'm hoping if I can get even just a quick dialogue with just one of the developers or somebody in the design team who can get this, who can get me this information, then I can hopefully uh, bring you a better product as backers for the for the game, and uh, bring everybody else a decent product as well. Because I would like it to be as close. I promised I would have a game as close as to the as close to the Elite Dangerous experience as I could possibly get, and I am still trying to do that. So, um, that's essentially it, other than showing you a couple more pretty pictures, um, but you saw pretty much everything in the, in the, in the video anyway, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to put any more pictures up, just this one. Um, I'm just hoping that we can move forward with it. It's not going to hold up development in any way, because I still have loads and loads to do that I'm still working on. Um, I, uh, blah, 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 blah. Monday after the stream, um, I played a little bit longer and then I actually wrote till 2 o'clock in the morning, and I actually managed to get some of the vehicle 
the, the main vehicle stuff all sorted out um, so the start sheet is now slightly different um, and now incorporates the card idea so the card concept that I showed you a few months ago is now kind of fully realized and looks like it's going to be an integral part of the system which I'm quite happy about but I'll go into that more in the update on uh, Monday next week so for the moment um, progress is good this is a very very exciting update for the game for the computer game sorry and hopefully should translate into a very exciting bit of information and graphical niceness that can go into the open games pages as well so all positive um, a little bit more extra work probably involved but then hey that's what this open game development thing is all about the more work the better I suppose the more content I can put into there then obviously the the more comprehensive and the more uh, immersive the open game can be so uh, I hope you're uh, as excited about this concept as I am um, if not then you must be physically dead um, so I am hoping that Elite Dangerous Horizons update and over the next few months hopefully we'll get a bit more information about what's going in there. I know that the next update they're going to send out the newsletter is going to include information about the Cobra Mark IV which people are speculating at the moment is going to be an explorer, a more closely explorer based um, and planetary landing uh, modified version of the Cobra Mark III uh, but we'll wait and see what happens with that one. So that's all going to come to us uh, towards Christmas. Uh, they're saying the release for this is going to be Christmas. Now that means that there will be a beta period before Christmas and I don't know at the moment how long that will take or how long it will be before that comes up. Now because I'm part of the alpha and beta testing groups in on, on the um, in the game development uh, thanks to your generous donations it also means I'll get early access to some of this stuff and I'll get early access to the planetary landings, the vehicle information and all that sort of stuff which will give me a closer idea of what the inside of vehicles will look like and then I can put that in the game and I can get more information to you guys depending on how long it's going to take to get this stuff out so the next few months could be quite interesting um, so I'm going to kind of try and race to get as much of the actual writing done as I can um, get the writing out of the way which again as I say probably isn't all that much left to do on the writing side of it what we're looking at now is tying together the writing side of it with the graphics and the layout and getting it ready for actually posting for, for review so uh, uh, yeah I hope that's uh, entertaining for you and I hope it's a positive thing for you by all means if you want to leave a comment then please do um, there won't be a there isn't a presentation for this one so uh, no on-screen text is for you just pretty pictures but um, if you've got any comments or feedback then by all means let me know in the comments on the YouTube video when it goes up later on tonight or let me know via Facebook Twitter or the Kickstarter update page which a few of you have commented on today which I'll be I'll be making some comments on there later on so hopefully you'll be you'll be there so anyway take care everyone and I'll see you Monday <laughs>